Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda. And if you're just stopping by for the first time, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're a new subscriber, you're highly welcome. Thank you so much for dropping by. On this channel, I do videos on tutorials about sewing, pattern drafting, illustration, sketching, sewing projects, and all. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can draft your corset pattern with loops at the back. If you're interested in seeing this, you might want to hit the subscribe button and also tap on the notification bell so you'll be the first person to get a notification each time I upload a new content. Without further ado, let's just dive into the main video. I started by drawing a straight line at the top of my paper and I labeled that as my starting line. And from there, I'm going to be taking my half of my shoulder measurements. And I'll be marking it alongside of the starting line. I'm marking 8 inches. Next, I'm going to go down by 1 inches for the shoulder slope. And then I'll use my ruler to connect it straight to the end of the line. Now, after that, I'm going to be labeling this as my shoulder line. So, from the shoulder line, slope i'm going to be taking half of my armhole measurement and i'll be ruling that as well so after i'm done with that i'm going to be taking my vertical line measurement okay so this point becomes my chest line and my vertical line measurements are the measurement which runs to our bust point from our shoulder line so my bust point is 10 inches and the bust is 13 and my waist is 17 okay now for the length of my corset I marked 20 inches and I'm going to be connecting that into a horizontal line now after I'm done with the lens I'm coming back to my um, chest line to roll it across Then I'm going to be labeling the lines as chest line. Here's my chest line. I'll have my bust point and the bust line and the waistline plus the length of my corset. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is to connect the armhole measurement like so. This is not really needed in the corset except you want to add your yoke. But for this pattern, I'm not going to be including my yoke. I'm going to be ruling my armhole measurement like so because here is my mid armhole. This is not really necessary, but in a case where I'm using drafting a corset, I'm going to be needing this part. So the next thing I'll be doing is to get the half of my bust span measurement which is also known as my nipple to nipple measurement so my bust span is 7 inches divided by 2 is 3.5 I'm going to be marking that along my horizontal lines and I'll be connecting that with my ruler as well So here is my bust point. So from there, I'm going to be going down by one inch below my bust point, and I'll be marking that. So I'm using one inch for my own. But in a case where the, um, there's a bustic client, make use of 1.5 inch or 1.75 inches. Okay, so I'm going to be marking one inch for me. And after that, I'm going to be drafting my dart. So for my dart, I'm going in by 0.75 inches on both sides. And I'll be connecting it to the point where I marked initially with my ruler. And next is to extend the lines down to my waistline, the length of my crosshair. Now after I'm done with this, the next thing to do is to get the distance between my bust points to my under bust and I'm going to be using my tape rule like so and I'll be checking what I have 
I have 3 inches and now I'm going to be placing my tape right underneath my bust point and I'll be rotating this like so to get a dotted line because I want to get the radius for my bust I want to get the radius for my bust and this is how I'm rotating it now after I'm done with the radius of my bust, I went up at the shoulder line and I marked 4 inches like so for the neckline and I have 4 inches left so I'm going to be connecting my neckline This is not really useful because I don't want a yoke, I'm only making use of the shoulder, I want to create a dart from my shoulder Ok so half of my shoulder is 8 inches and I have 4 inches left I'm getting midpoint of 2 inches from there and I'll be connecting with my roller straight down to my bust point so after that the next thing to do is to go upwards from my bust point by another 1 inches and I'm going to be marking that like so The next thing to do is to go in where it's at the center front. I'm going down by 0.5 inches and I'm also going in by another 0.5 inches because I want a little gap in the center of my bust. Now I'm going to be using my curved ruler to connect the lines and I'll be ignoring the dotted lines to get a perfect curve. I'll be using my French curve ignoring the dotted lines because the dotted lines are just like a guide for the curve after that I'm going to measure the quarter of my bust measurement and I'll be marking that from there I'm going to be taking the distance between this point and to this point getting the midpoints from there From there, I'm going to go down by 0.5 inches and I'll connect it with my ruler. After that, I'm going to use my French curve once more and I'll create another curve. The reason why you are seeing the curve at the side much bigger than the one in the center front is because the bust is more to the side than in the middle so you have a bigger cup at the side and a smaller one in the middle so from there I've connected my lines next I went in at the underbust line I came inwards at the underbust line by 0.5 inches at this point and I also did the same thing at the other side at 0.5 inches because I want to contour the cup of the bust now I'm going to be connecting with my curved ruler so after I'm done with that I'm going to be retracing my lines for visibility I don't know if you can see this but that's why I decided to use the marker pen to create a different color for the line Now after that I'm going to be using my ruler to connect this one like so and from there I'm going to be going upwards at the chest line and I'll be creating the same thing I did for this point. I have 1.5 inches precisely here. Now I'm going to be going inwards at this side by 1 inch and I'll go inwards at the other side by 0.5 inches. So automatically I have one and a half inches here and I have one and a half inches upwards and I'm going to be connecting with my ruler. Now the next thing to do is to contour the top of my cup like so in the middle. I'm going to be using my curved ruler once more to finish the curve at the top like so please remember to take your time while doing this so you can get it right and I also do the same thing at the opposite side I'm 
I'll be connecting like so. And I'll be flipping my curve ruler to finish the curve at the top. So now I'm done with that. I'm now going to be coming inwards by this at this point by 0.25 inches for bust tightening. This is to eliminate any gap that will occur at the top of the bust. So I'm going to be using my French curve to curve the lines perfectly. After which I'm going to draw the curve to smoothen out the middle of the cup. So the next thing I will do is to draw a line and I'll draw my darts again. I'll extend it to my waistline and to the length of my corset top. Now I'm going to check what I have. What of my on the bust measurements I have marked it and I'll check what I have here, which is 1.5 inches, and I'll be adding that back because I'm going to be taking out the darts. And I'll be doing the same thing at the waistline. I'm taking quarter of my waistline measurement plus 1.5 inches that allowance. And also I'll be doing that at the length of my corset top. And I'll be connecting my ruler like so. So the next thing to do is to add the 1.5 inches sewing allowance for your top. So remember that after adding this, you're no longer going to be adding it once you are cutting it out on fabric. Now I'm going to be taking out this part because I have already added it at this point. And I'll be taking it out. Here is my sewing allowance. This is my side front and this is my center front. And here is my cup 1 and my cup 2. And I'm going to be doing a 3 part cup. Now, for my 3 part cup, I'm going to be measuring 2 inches here at this point and at the middle, I'll be measuring 2.5 inches, okay? So, I'll be using 2 inches here and 2.5 inches at this point. And at the middle part, I'll be also using 2 inches. So if you don't understand what I'm doing, kindly focus on the video and get it right. So I'm going to be cutting this out. So that is my front piece. We we'll have the center front, side front, and we'll have the cup one and the cup two. I'm going to measure this to cut out the three parts cup. So I'll be using my masking tape to glue them together while I demarcate the other parts of the cup. This is to allow me to have one piece for my third cup, okay? This is to allow me to have one piece. I'm going to be attaching them like so. After I'm done attaching them, I'm going to be cutting through the lines that you see me marked earlier. So now I have the three part cup. Automatically, this is my cup 3 here. This is my third cup. I have cup 1, cup 2, and cup 3. So I have 3 cups, 3 parts to make up for the cup. So this is my side front, it's ready. So I'm going to be using this to cut out the back. Now I'll be taking this aside. Now for the back piece, I'll be using my front piece to trace it out. I'll be marking out 2 inches for the zipper allowance. That is if you want to add zipper for your back 
piece. Now this is 2 inches and I'm marking that as my zipper. Now I'm going to be making sure to align my back piece with my front piece. And I'll be making sure I have at least 1.5 inches that allowance that I marked earlier for the front piece. And I'll be tracing it out like so. After I'm done tracing it out, I'm going to be connecting the lines with my ruler. Now I'll be marking that out, then I'll be finishing it off with my ruler. Now the next thing to do is to go down at the middle part like so. I'll be going down by 2 inches, but you can choose to use 1.5 inches, it's solely on preference. And this is my center back and here is my side back. So I'm going to be using my rulers to connect the lens like so. I'll be making a straight line like this. And I'll use my French curl to complete the upper part of the line. Now I'm going to cut it out. I'll be making sure to draw the lines to look more straight. that I'm going to be cutting it out. I'll be checking what I have to make sure there are no mistakes. And I'll be setting this aside and I'll be cutting out my back piece. Now that my back piece is ready, I'm going to be separating the middle like so. Now back is almost ready with the zipper. Here is my side front. This is my center front. Here is my center front. And these are my cups. Now I have my complete set of pattern for my corset. This is how it's looking like. Here is the third piece, so I'll be aligning them so and I'll be cutting it out on fabric. So I'll be making an inscription of arrows at the sides. The side where you see me marking the arrows are the sides where I want to include my joining allowance of 0.5 inches. Okay, so I'll be making sure to indicate that all through the place I want to add my joining allowance. And like I said earlier, you don't need to be adding another sewing allowance to your fabric. Now I'm going to be doing what we call the loop. I'll be measuring 3 inches inwards from the zipper allowance area and I'll be marking that out. And I'll be using my ruler to draw a straight line from there. So that is the place I want to include my loop. And I'll be labeling that as my loop for indication. This is how my back piece is looking like. Okay, now I'll be folding this inwards just to eradicate the zipper allowance. And here is my back piece. So my back piece is complete like so. In the middle you see there is an arrow, that's where I'm going to be adding my 0.5 inches joining allowance. So guys, this is how the whole pattern is looking like. You can see the complete set of the pattern for our corset. So we are going to be cutting this out on fabric in our next class. 
be adding your 0 0.5 inches join allowance all through the lines where I marked an arrow you'll be adding it in between all round even at the top and it will be adding at the middle as well and at the top of the back piece and for the down part I'll be adding one inch for hemming allowance if you haven't subscribed to this amazing channel, I wonder what you're waiting for. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like and share. Also turn on your notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.